Welcome to our penultimate session of Digging In this month. It's been an interesting month. We've looked at our lives in a totally different way. And I really hope that you've felt God speaking to you as you've dug into him with prayer and his word. Today, we're going to use a verse which is on the wall here at Riverside. Every Sunday when we've got a worship service, you can see it right there. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. God has a plan for you. He does. There is no one he doesn't have a plan for. God has a plan for you. And for some of you, you might know what that plan is. And some of you, you might not have the foggiest what that plan is. But the thing is, doesn't matter what the plan is, the plan, is, the, the idea is, do we trust who's got the plan? I think we get too hung up on God, tell me the plan. And God's going, don't get hung up on the plan. Just know I have one. And I have one for you. Do you trust me? One thing that I've learned through this season is digging in requires me to put, keep again and again, putting my trust and faith in God over the things I want to know. God has a plan for you. And for some of us, he shares those plans with us and some of us, he doesn't. But actually, it's not the plan that's important. It's the God who has a plan for us. Why don't you today say, God, draw near. I trust you with my life. Why don't you make some time to resubmit your life saying, God, I trust you with this. And I don't need to know the plan. I just need to know you. And allow his presence to meet you in the midst of that. 